Okay, so this is pretty cool. This is the concept of Brewster's angle. Okay, so concept zero is that, that if it's not a metallic surface, if it's something like water or glass or plastic or something like that, um, there exists an angle for which the light reflected off the surface is totally polarized parallel to the surface. Right? At other angles, it's mostly polarized parallel to the surface. And so uh, what's interesting is that, of course, you know, lakes and things are horizontal, right? So we tend to get light that is more horizontally polarized uh, than vertically, right? So if we want to block that glare, what we can do is wear a vertically polarized filter. And of course, this is exactly what polarized uh, sunglasses are, is, is uh, vertically polarized filters so that we can block the horizontally polarized glare off these, these um, lakes and things, right? Okay. Here they're trying to draw a diagram of that. This is unpolarized light, and then at at the Brewster's angle, at this guy here, right? It's totally polarized, parallel to this surface. Um, and then this is the formula in general, right? IB gives us this formula, okay? So for example, this would be uh, N1, this would be N2, right? Well, N1 is 1.00. N2 is, is, for water, is maybe 1.33 or something. I can't remember. Okay. But anyway, the notion here is that, that this is what we use. They're, they've given us a simplified one, right, is that we'll use the 1.33, and that'll be the tangent of that polarization angle. Um, this is a picture. The polarized, polarized filters are, are um, or Polaroid filters are, are important for photography. Here you can see that, that uh, with a Polaroid filter, and we apparently are putting it, this way, right? Vertically, right? We can take the glare off of the surface of the water and the desk, uh, but it's much more than that. I mean, these filters, you can basically take uh, you know, grass and, and sand and clouds and things. They're actually reflective surfaces um, and shiny, right? And so, so you can get uh, cool effects. I mean, you can get like more uh, um, definition out of clouds and sand and grass with uh, Polaroid filters. They typically, you mount them on the camera and, uh, and you can rotate them in any direction. And you just rotate it till it you know, looks pretty. Okay, um, so that's the idea. This is our formula here: is that the the index of refraction is equal to the tangent of Brewster's angle, right? Okay, so let's let me just show you uh, an IB question here. This is from 2011, uh, paper two. So this question is about polarized polarization. So what is meant by polarized light? Well, polarized light is where all the electric fields all line up and they're all, say, vertical or horizontal. Right? And then B says, uh, they, they give a, a scenario here, right? Um, uh, so let's go look at that, right? Unpolarized light, that's here, right, is incident on this surface of the plastic. So will the Brewster's angle will, if, you know, will, it does apply to this, right? And there's some angle here and they're going to change this angle, right? going to make it more and less, right? And then we look at it through a vertically oriented uh, analyzer, right? And so that's our intensity here that we're looking at is after it bounces off the surface and goes through that filter, right? Okay. And then you can see that the intensity goes down, 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 down. And at the Brewster's angle, it's entirely horizontally polarized. So therefore, it cannot make it through the vertically oriented filter, right? Because at that angle, at the Brewster's angle, which apparently is 50 degrees, right, um, it totally polarizes the light parallel to the surface, which is horizontal, right, and therefore it can't make it through a vertical filter. So um, let's just remember the 50, right? Let's look at the next page. Explain why there's an angle of incidence for which the intensity of the transmitted light is zero. Well, uh, there is an angle uh, because that's the Brewster's angle, right? Okay. The, the light coming off of here is horizontally polarized. It therefore cannot make it through the vertically polarized filter. So two things we need to say, right? One is that it's horizontally polarized. Two, that it will not make it through the vertically polarized filter, right? And then calculate the index, refractive index of the plastic. Well, that's easy. N is tan theta, right? Right? Okay, so uh, that's easy, right? It's a tangent of 50 is, is the index of refraction. So let's just do that tangent. Make sure, make sure I'm in degrees. Yes, I am. Okay, tangent of 50 is indeed 1.19 is n. Yay. And then we'll do some examples here. 